Hi, welcome back to the studio. Diana Trout here today with a book review, or books reviewed. Uh, thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me today. Once again, the topic of these books is book arts. I'm getting a lot of requests for those <laughs> kind of books, so I have tons of them, so I'm happy to share them with you. I'll put these aside for the time being. Now, this is um, a children's book by uh, Gwen... Dine, and uh, she also has written quite a few other books for adults. Library, and I've made a lot of these books with kids, but I've also taken away a lot of inspiration from these books. As usual, there's your typical uh, supply section, and in addition to the book instructions here, there is a lot of history, which I really enjoyed reading. I'm, you can look this stuff up on the internet, but um, it was really fun to read. I love this a little stick binding, holding the book. Just really great, fresh ideas. This book came out in 1998. Here's a Labyrinth book, really cool. Uh, a lot of these things are definitely uh, worthy of adults and would be a great fun to do with kids. I love the Exquisite Corpse. I, uh, I have made this with kids. They really, really enjoy that one. Here's some great inspiration here with the book sewn into the um, spine of the accordion book. That's just a super simple thing to do, and it just makes the book a little bit more interactive. Here's the Gypsy Wagon book. So it's just sheets of paper, and some of you have asked um, how to bind sheets of paper, single sheets, and, and here's an idea for you. Um, really fun. Let's move on to Esther K. Smith and how to make books. I love that. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this book, the things that I also love about this book. Hold on. You can see the spine in this book. I don't know if it's showing up here, but, um, and then inside you have all the terminology. This is just an excellent book for a teacher, for a classroom. Okay, How to Make Books by Esther K. Smith. Fantastic book. Um, I love the dynamic, bold look of this book. First of all, um, her work is really interesting. And look, here we have a gypsy wagon book. I just wanted to point that out. This book has a, a lot of the maze books. These books are fun to make. And they're really fun to stick in a journal. So the Flutter book, I believe. But let's see here. I also really love the illustrations using collage and stamping in this book. It's really fun, just fun to look at this book. And super interesting little bits of paper. And then we get to the Stab Stitch books. And I think I'm going to be doing a um, class on how to use this um, binding for single sheets. I just have to figure it out first. <laughs> I have an idea that's going that way. Okay, let's move on to the next pink slip here, the pink slip. I love this. It's a concertina and pamphlets. It has such a, a wonderful, what's the word? Tell me below in the comments. Wildness about it. I love that. And then we have the long stitch. Is this our cake box book? And the Copic stitch. So this is a really good um, basic book too. Where's her? cake box book 
It's really fun. Really fun material she uses. Long stitch, which is a great stitch. It's a basic stitch that everyone should know. I believe I used it in a journal. I'll link up above. I think I used it in that jelly print journal. But this is a fabulous book. I love it. I love looking at it. I love following the directions in it. It's very clear. Uh, the next book is this really sweet book from uh, Aaron Zem something. I'll, I'll link all these books. And this is a Japanese style book. Beautiful, that beautiful Japanese aesthetic in the, in the photographs. So again, a beautiful book to look at. And um, looks like I had some notes I made down here. You know, starting with simplest of accordion books. And uh, I love this. This is little envelopes with stickers holding them together or glued. I'm loving that she's using old books here and tags with a, a Japanese style stab binding. Really fun, really interesting. Some of them are kind of funny. A sock book one you keep in socks. Not sure what that is about. Really, this is a, an example of the illustration, so you can see um, pretty clearly, I think. I just wanted to show you a close-up of this. Coming in, then around, and then back in and out and down and all around and back in and out and so it goes. These um, illustrations for you are might be a little confusing when you first look at them but you have to read the illustrations. You have to really carefully read them but really great if you are looking for stab bind bound books and other sort of um, like I said Zaka like books which are just super sweet and finally Alyssa Golden this is a super book and it you're not going to find it structures and forms a hundred plus binding structures and forms and her books are very much more sculptural there's a flag book here Hetty Kyle's flag book and then we have this is this is this book I've made many times with classes. It's lots of origami. She's calling it a winged book. It's a slight, um, slightly different from the one I used to make, but it has all these little pockets. And she's got a lot of stuff in here. A lot of of uh, books from all over the world in here. Love the tea bag book. Love it. Love that sewn element there. It looks like stitch. Feels like stitch. Really a wonderful little book there. Let me see. She has a lot that I like. Here's uh, the directions in this book are laid out in a, in a nice way like that. There is a lot of technical you have to really read these instructions again. Most of these book binding books, the more complex one, ones really have a lot of illustrations like this. And uh, if you really want to do it, you, you can. I guess you just have to carefully look at every step. It's not, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but you can do it. Really fun books. So she has a lot of kind of unusual books. She does have kind of the basic books, but don't come here for her book basics. This is not really your place to find long stitch and Coptic. Let me see if she's got, um, see, it's envelopes and poor 
she does have a basic codex in here. Movable books, scrolls, and accordions. Uh, this Simply Stone. There's just not a basic... This is not your basic book binding book. For that, I would go to um, Esther Smith or to um, Cover to Cover by Shireen LaPlante. She, that's a really good basic book, and I did review that. I will link my other book review, <laughs> reviews on books up there in the corner. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed these books. I'm trying to do these once a month on the last Friday of the month. So comment below. Let me know what kind of books you want to hear about. And um, have a great day. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.